In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a Google custom search engine. This tool can help you direct your students to search the sites that are most pertinent to your class. To start, we're going to type in custom search engine from a Google screen. The first hit will be the custom search engine generator. And here's the home page. This gives you a brief introduction to custom search. It will tell you that you can include one or more websites or specific pages. First thing we should do is create a custom search engine. You're going to need to have a Google account. If you do not have one, click create an account now. Follow these instructions, accept, and you will have an account. This account, once created, will give you access to the custom search engine generator, Gmail, and a bunch of other Google applications. And here's the custom search engine generator. Let's start off with the custom search engine name. Let's call it Health Search. And write a brief description. Tell it to search only the sites that you select. Now let's select some sites. Click on this plus for tips on formatting your URLs. In most cases, you're going to want to search entire domains. Here's the formula for doing that. You put an asterisk, then everything after the www, all the way to the .com. Or in our case, we're going to use .govs. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is find some websites that are distributing trustworthy information. If I'm doing a medical search, I'm going to rely on government websites. Let's start off with Medline Plus. I'm going to take this URL, copy, go to my box, type an asterisk, and paste. Hit enter to start a new line. And I'm going to do the CDC next. Copy, asterisk, paste. And let's do PubMed as well. Remember everything after the www, copy, asterisk, and paste. So now I have three sites that my search engine is going to look through. Select Standard Edition, agree to the Terms of Service, and click Next. Click Finish. And here's my search. You can see I've created other search engines as well. Go to the control panel. On the control panel we can do several things. The first one being canceling out the advertising. If you select this, your students won't see any advertisements on the results page. Click Save Changes. Now let's change the look and feel. Click on Look and Feel. Let's do something to make our search engine stand out a little bit better. I'm going to select this. Click Save Changes. Save Changes again. And now go to Code. From here, select all of the text within this box copy, and go open up your Blackboard course. In this case, I've created an area called Library Research. I'm going to go into the Control Panel, select Library Research, and I've created an item called Widget. And here, I will paste the code that I copied from this page. Remember to select HTML, that's very important, or your search engine may not work. Click Submit. And go and check your work. There's our custom search. When your students log in, this is what they will see. Let's do our search.
and the results will appear within the Blackboard frame. You can see it's searching only sites like the CDC and PubMed. So now you've created your first Google custom search engine. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please email me 